Hello friends, my name is Mohsin Mullah and uh, already we have seen uh, one of the topic in previous video uh, where we were discussing about the wiring diagram and uh, schematic uh, diagram representation of the motor control circuits. Okay, so in this video we are going to see another uh, wiring diagram and schematic diagram but now we are not going to see about a, a single source uh, supplied motor but here we are going to see about a motor which is supplied by either of the two supply sources. So in the previous uh, video we had seen that if there is a uh, three phase supply available and there is a motor to be connected, how we could make the control circuit to connect to that particular motor in order to obtain the on and off of the motor as well as to provide the protection to the motor with the help of thermal overload uh, relay here. So it is also the similar type of uh, circuit diagram. Okay, so not much uh, difference is there in this uh, diagram here. So in the earlier representation this much part we had seen. So there was a motor and the three phase supply was taken through the uh, here. This is uh, electromagnetic contactor and this is the thermal overload relay. So this part we had already seen in the previous video and uh, how this could be operated with the help of the okay, control circuit. Okay, so now in this particular uh, representation where motor is fed from either of two sources, instead of choosing only one source to supply to the motor, there is second source also considered which will now be supplying the three phase voltage to the motor. Now this is uh, for the you can say safety purpose. If there is uh, something happens to the supply source one, in that case the second supply source will be able to supply the continuous supply to the motor. So our uh, operation in the you can say particular industry will not be halted because there is uh, damage in the one supply source to that particular motor. So if you have two supply sources, we can ensure that the motor is running all the time if there is damage of one of the sources. Okay, so if there is some damage that can be repaired and it can be maintained until then the second source will be acting as the main supply source to the motor. Okay, so now here uh, basic difference is so this is the direct connection of the three phase motor okay through the contactor and the relay now another uh, connection is also provided exactly in the same way so you can see the three phases obtained through the uh, electromagnetic contactor and the relay okay so that is thermal overload relay and the three terminals are directly again connected to the input terminals in input terminals of the motor so here also the three phase is directly connected to the motor terminals so now uh, this contactor will be operated when the coil a is energized okay and this contactor will be operated when the coil b is energized now when this coil a and coil b will be energized that we can be seeing uh, will be seen through the schematic diagram so first you understand that in order to turn on the motor this contactor or this contactor needs to be closed okay then only supply will be connected to the motor so therefore either a or b will be connected so now to understand how exactly that happens in the actual working of the control circuit here so earlier also we had seen one schematic diagram for the uh, single source three phase induction motor for the same so it is again uh, the direct online turn on method okay so direct online start method it is so again we are going to consider the same uh, turn on uh, direct on, uh, on load turn on method and the schematic representation is also for the same now here you can see uh, first of all uh, we had seen that the uh, control circuit will be connected from the phase to the neutral okay and it will start with a fuse here ceramic fuse so whenever there is unwanted condition in that case the fuse will be uh, you can say it will blow blow out and uh, it will remove the connection here from the phase to the next terminals and here we can see the signal uh, which will be opening this contact when there is a uh, you can say thermal overloading so if the relay 3 if uh, suppose uh, the first motor is working sorry uh, when the first supply is connected in that case so this thermal overload relay e3 will be sensing that overload condition and when the second source is supplying the current in that case over uh, thermal overload relay e4 will be sensing the overload condition so whichever might be sensing the overload condition so these are connected in series so as soon as there is overload either e3 or e4 will be 
operating to open the contact so phase will be disconnected again now there is one b not push button okay so this is basically you can say for turning off of the motor okay so this is the main uh, control of the entire control circuit so when we push this so automatically motor will be off either source one is connected or source two is connected doesn't matter so therefore this b not will be acting as a common off button main off button for the entire control circuit so now there is normally closed b2 connection and then there is a uh, b1 connection so normally closed uh, b2 connection is particularly for turning off of the motor uh, when it is connected to the source one okay so this is like off button and this is like on button for supply source one okay so this is on one and off one indicating the supply source one okay so when i want to turn on the motor in that case i will have to push b1 so i have to press the push button b1 so what it will do it will make connection between the phase and the neutral so this end is connected to the neutral here okay so now here this a1 is the held on hold on coil okay so a1 is hold on coil so push button actually what we do we push it momentarily it will make the contact here and later on it will be released when we remove our finger but hold on coil once uh, signal is passing from here to here so it will it is a electromagnet so it will get latched to the contactor here so it will be closed here so this will be hold on coil and the supply will be continuously available even though the b1 is removed and that supply will be uh, given through so there is another normally closed coil b2 so this normally closed coil okay so normally closed means until and unless it is triggered it will be still in the closed condition only when we provide the supply to that then only it will be you can say open circuited by but right now b2 is uh, not going to be connected because b2 comes in the second source and we have not at considered the second source we are only talking about the first source okay so now b2 will be normally closed hence this part is connected and uh, now the coil a is energized therefore if coil a is energized automatically this contractor will be energized and therefore source one will be directly connected to the motor and motor will start running okay so now one thing you need to understand is so when this b1 is pushed okay so when we want to turn on the motor suppose by using source one we have to make sure that the second source is not connected so therefore this b1 is here normally open and the same uh, nor normally closed type of coil will be connected in series with the b2 or uh, say source 2 okay so what it will do when this push button is pressed in that case so this normally closed b1 coil will be open circuited so here the connection will be open so therefore this phase will be disconnected from here so that makes sure that only supply is available through the uh, first circuit here it will not go to the second circuit when it is open okay and similarly when we want to uh, use the second source so in that case we have to press the second source push button start push button here so this b2 will be second source start push button here it is so i will make call it as on to okay so using the source 2 and similarly this will be for the off to okay so when this will be uh, pushed at that time this normally closed contact will be opened or if say this uh, b1 is pushed from here still this normally closed contact will be open so it will be uh, not connected until this is again uh, we can say operated once again so now when we want to use the second source obviously we are going to push the uh, press the second push button b2 so when this b2 is pressed again there will be normally closed contact for that b2 and that normally closed contact b2 is connected in series with the first circuit here in series with the first circuit so when this is pushed in that case this is going to get open circuited okay so because it is normally connected and when this is operated this is going to op operate in opposite direction so that is it is going to open so these are interlocked with each other okay so they are interlocked with each other so one uh, op operation on one side will make the also equal and opposite type of operation on the other side of the push button similarly b1 and uh, b1 normally closed are uh, interlocked and this and this are interlocked which is shown here so b1 
so when it is pushed here so this will also be pushed so when this is connected this will become normally close to normally open so this end will go further and it will make this earlier contact to open similarly b2 so earlier it is open here so when i push it so this b2 will be normally closed and now it is going to become open okay when i push from the left hand side so that you can understand here so even with this kind of operation still we want to make sure that uh, the motor is not supplied by both the sources okay so in that case uh, what we have to do is make another kind of provision which is uh, here these two coils a2 and b2 so a2 and b2 are normally closed coils okay so they they are coils actually so they will get energized when the current is flowing through them okay so now here uh, we have to ensure that only one source is acting at a time how we can do that so when first coil is operated say this a1 is operated so for a1 it is uh, you can say a hold on coil so at the same time it is going to energize a2 which is normally closed coil so when it is energized what will happen so this contact will become open okay when uh, supply is flowing through a1 in that case a2 will become open because it is normally closed when current will flow through it it will become open so arrangement is done like that okay so in the normal position they are latched in the activated position they will be open so it is only with the help of electromagnetic mechanism and ferromagnet material placed at one side that can be very easily obtained so when this is energized automatically this will be open circuited so we we say that the say, second source is definitely not going to be connected here and when second source is connected in that case b1 is going to be energized normally hold uh, this will be hold on coil so because of that its uh, analogous coil which is b2 which is normally closed coil so when this b1 is energized automatically this will get uh, you can say open circuited from here so when supply is flowing through b1 in that case this b2 will be open circuited and no supply can pass through this first circuit hence the uh, first supply will not be connected and only uh, second source will be connected through this b1 and then the this will be normally closed because it is not operated here right now so uh, because this is open means this will be normally closed this is open means supply will not go here obviously this will remain in the normally closed condition therefore supply will go here and it will activate the second coil that is b coil so when b coil is activated so it is going to make the electromagnet magnetic contact contactor here to get attracted towards the contacts and it will make the three phase supply of the second source to get connected through the overload thermal relay to the three terminals of the three phase induction motor so like this way so we will be ensuring that we have the supply to the three phase motor either from the source one or source two and at the same time we are making sure that with the help of this type of control circuit we are making sure that at this one at one time only one source is actually supplying the you can say voltage to the motor not both the sources are supplying the voltage to the motor and this is the schematic representation of the wiring diagram that is shown here okay and you can explore uh, on your own to draw the actual complete diagram just like we have done it in the first video video lecture so you can go through the content of that first video lecture if you have not understood any concept of this this will be little bit uh, you can say uh, it requires prerequisites if you have the knowledge of previous session then only you will be able to understand what i am talking about how exactly this all things because we have done the complete working and uh, uh, this uh, representation how i have drawn this circuit also i have done in the previous video lecture so you need to go through that okay so i hope you have understood the concept of this uh, representation here and i hope you will be able to prepare it on your own for your examination okay so if you like the content of this particular uh, session so you can just like my video and also give your comment for feedback to improve upon the content of this kind of video lectures because i am uh, i have recently started preparing this type of video lectures so i even i do not know how exactly it is going online so if your feedback is available so i can improve upon uh, whatever lacunas you find in the video lectures please do comment on that okay till then happy learning thank you